These are the sounds of the future of tech and trades. The Halton Skills Competition hosted over 900 students from grades 4 to 12, competing in 45 areas like robotics, automotive technicians, welding and carpentry. It's life skills and it's, it's amazing and it's hands-on involvement and really engages the students. Winning wasn't the only outcome throughout the competition. The students also got to exercise their creative muscles. We decided to make it a yellow submarine because like a whole bunch of people were saying it looked like a submarine. Uh, it's cool. It doesn't go the fastest because it's not really the best design, but it's still cool. It went somewhere. <laughs> like without the paint, um, it just looked like a yellow. It just looked like a submarine shape, so we just painted it to be a yellow submarine. We were gonna do flames on it, but we didn't. We decided not to. And inside, what we have to do is we have to pick up pipes uh, on this rack, and we have to put them in train cars. There is a total of eight pipes, and we have to. Uh, fully autonomously, uh, the robot has to be fully autonomous and pick up all the pipes and put them down. We started off by building the base uh, and then we put on a bunch of different sensors, line sensors, buttons, and then uh, from then on we spent most of the time on the code. Aside from competing, Klein Smith says it was great exposure for future career paths. There's such a shortage of it and we need our students to understand where the jobs of the future are. Even welding competition coordinator Ivan Poulin says he knows student welders who will continue in the trade will benefit in their careers. With the growing population and the need for trades people, skilled trade people, there's a huge shortage for welders right now. And if you look at any part of your life from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed, there's a part of welding in, involved in some part component of it. Even if students aren't looking that far ahead, winners at this regional competition will move on to provincials in April. For Halt News, I'm Natalie Stoberman.